Bobby Marks, ESPN front office insider, joins us on the Shell Pennzoil performance I like that line. Analogy, Max. I like Bobby, that you there? James Harden analogy. I agree with you full, 100% how you just broke that down. Right. 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 See, Bobby Marks, smart man. Bobby, let me ask you something. What teams can trade for Westbrook? He has a huge yeah. contract. I mean, I think you're looking at probably teams that are rebuilding, right? If you think you're a team like Charlotte or Detroit, and that is your main marquee free agent that you can't get this off season, and you slide him in with, you know, potentially cap space or sending out expiring contract. I think those are your teams you're looking at. I think if you're New York, and, and the question I wrote up yesterday was if if if, Jay, if uh, Russell Westbrook was a free agent, would you pay three years, 132 million dollars for him right now, knowing you know everything his his body has gone through? And I'm not sure. I don't think I would, Max. So I, I think those are your teams, you know, it's the Charlottes of the world, it's maybe Orlando, uh, Detroit. It's hard for me to think the Clippers um, can get the money to work and you basically have to send four or five players out, the same with the Lakers. It's just that he makes so much money. You know, he's at $41 million and you got to basically send about $33 million out. So um, his market is uh, – I thought he was hard to trade a year ago. I was surprised that Houston, um, you know, did that and had to give up so much to do it. I think it's it's certainly more diminished probably uh, this year. Well, the thing is, he's still yep. really good. Like sometimes I think we have a tendency to look at what's next and what a guy makes, and is he ascending or descending, and then overlook the fact that a guy's really good. But his skill set is redundant with with guys like the freak. You know, like he's the guy who collapses and he has to be the primary ball handler, collapse the defense, but he can't shoot. And there are enough, like, there are some teams who are really looking for that second star, but they need that second star to be able to shoot. That's not Westbrook. That's why, Bobby, when I survey the landscape, I don't care, oh, there's a new sheriff in town in New York and all this stuff. The Knicks, you know, Dolan's going to be sitting there going, wait a minute, I can sell tickets at the Garden. We'll be respectable. You know, New Yorkers will appreciate his style of play. Um, they could fit him. Like, I'm like, what do the Knicks have on the books right now? I look at a team like the Knicks and think, you know, Dolan will find this irresistible. Yeah, I mean, and, and they would still have room in, in 21 to go out and get another guy. I mean, I think you're basically Russell would equal all those players on these non-guaranteed contracts, the Taj Gibson, the Alfred Payton, the Wayne Ellington, um, you know, um, Reggie Bullocks of the, of the world. I mean, you could basically just slide in. It's just a matter of what you want to give up. And, you know, they are, you know, certainly flush with assets, the Dallas pick, the Clippers pick, I, you know, certainly not their own pick here and some of those younger players. So, yeah, if that, if that makes sense to you and you've got a, a, you know, a comfort level, and you're right, you're right. We always look at the contract of a player, um, and he is still a heck of a player, right? But it, it is all a matter of where right. does he fit the best here. And uh, he would have, certainly have had st center stage in um, – in, in New York. What about James Harden? I'm looking at Harden, and if he wants out as well, I would think it would be very difficult to get yeah. equal value for him, although the Warriors have the second overall pick, right? Uh, and they have some – I don't know if people think Wiggins has value or not because he also makes a lot of money and has underachieved in his career, though he's played better defense uh, recently. Um, but, but, you know, I, Pete, like Stephen A. brought up on, on first take today, Ben Simmons. And I think about Simmons coming off yeah. a big injury, but, you know, his, he's a great defender. He creates more open looks for teammates than anyone in basketball. Really, the only thing he doesn't do is shoot. He doesn't shoot at all, but he does everything else at a totally elite level. He's young, ascending. He's never really had his own team. There's no one clog in the middle in, in Houston if Westbrook and Harden are gone. What's the likelihood, especially with Maury's presence in Philly, of a swap yeah, taking I place? Yeah, I mean, I think with Harden, um, you know, if we were ranking best contracts or, you know, for best value, um, he would be right up there. Because usually these, these type of players, these franchise-level players, you're usually moving them when they're on an expiring, when they're in their last year. We saw it with Kawhi, with, uh, with AD. Um, but with James, you've got him for three years here, and that has a tremendous amount of, of value. Mm -hmm. And I, I think with – you mentioned Golden State. Um, you know, they do have the number two pick. They also have that Minnesota pick in 2021, which is probably more valuable than this year this year's pick in this year's draft. Uh, yep. Wiggins, you, know, you can certainly make the money work if that's what Golden State uh, and Houston is looking to do. And then, yeah, I mean, with Philly, yeah, of course, Simmons – 
See, I don't like the Golden State Houston thing for yeah. either team. I don't think you need James Harden holding the ball. The thing about Steph that makes him so excellent is really a two guard who, who has great handles so he can play the one and he's too short to, to defend the two. But the ball doesn't yeah, stick with have, him. Yep. So you have a bunch of shooters. The ball's over. I, who needs Harden messing that up? Because then I recall Harden on, on OKC, like they couldn't play him and Westbrook together because it made the whole team less efficient. But I think of Harden on Philadelphia with Embiid, and I think that is very, yeah, very I tough. Yeah, I think the, my only concern with, with Philly, with, um, you know, if I was Houston, is I, I probably want to see Ben on the court healthy. Um, you know, this shortened, right. uh, you know, when we're getting going. I, you know, I, I would thought maybe when we get to – if we had started in mid, um, mid December, mid-January here, um, I'm not sure he'll be ready to go um, when we get going around Christmas time just because that injury was in, what, August. So I would probably want, I want to see mm-hmm. where he is, certainly from a health standpoint. But, yeah, I mean, Philly's got with Simmons and Matisse Teibel, who's certainly a good defender. If you're looking, you're never, as you said, you're never going to get the true value back. But, you know, you're swap, basically swapping a franchise player for an all-NBA player. Uh, and that doesn't, you know, that doesn't happen, you know, often here. Yep. Bobby Marks, ladies and gentlemen, really appreciate it, Bobby. Check him out, ESPN's very own, of course. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.